Good morning, guys. So I kind of woke up a bit late than I planned. It's currently 5.40. I really want to get myself like really like prepared for my first ride in 2023. <laughs> I'll bring my I need to bring my gloves and then also my ski jacket later yeah that's about it so excited and so nervous I have to show you guys my ski jacket first isn't it looking super professional with all this like things here I think sometimes people just mistake it as like I was sponsored by some companies or something but I'm not like I'm like an absolute 100% amateur skiers now I'm gonna wear my um, ski boots. You know, wearing ski boots and then taking off ski, ski boots are two of my least favorite things when it comes to skiing because it's super stiff and then it's very hard to put my feet in. I can't believe it. First unexpected, very unexpected things happen just in my first day of here. It's I can't believe it. It's raining right now. I have never encountered when it's like raining. I'm like, I was shocked and I went blank for like five minutes at least because I don't know. Like, I don't know what it's like when it's, uh, I don't know what it's like when it's, when it rains. I'm just praying that the rain will stop as soon as possible. Oh, oh look at this. Rain! Oh. I really hope that the rain will stop soon. Like, I've never encountered a raining day at the ski resort, so it's very new to me. And it's not just like a little rain, it rains kind of hard. I even Google whether it's okay to ski when it rains. Apparently the answer is yes, but you just have to be careful. And it's my first, first day of skiing after three years, so... I hope the weather just like... Please turn it into snow, not rain. Please. Mm. Guys, good news. I think it becomes snows because I'm like higher up right now. So I think it's not rain anymore. Wow, at least the good news is that it becomes snow. It's not rain anymore, but it's like super foggy. I'll show you guys how crazy foggy it is. You cannot see like even one meter away from you. Look at my behind, like you cannot tell where Am I? Because it's way Like this slope is full of moguls. You can't really see, I feel like, because it's a bit foggy. But anyway, moguls is my least favorite kind of like type of tearing in a ski resort because I'm so bad at it. <sighs> no, I, I definitely took the wrong route coming to the moguls slope. <laughs> okay, guys, big achievement on the first day. I ski down this slope. A slope full of moguls. Ah, so many things to practice. I'm so hot right now. I'm sweating. Ah, I regret it. I wear too many clothes. But it's nice practice. Very nice. 
it's been too long since the last time I ski, so I really need to get my foundation done. So there are like a very big evergreen ski school here, ski snowboard school here. So it's so funny to observe, like especially in the beginner snow. It's very interesting to observe those instructors in terms of how they teach students. Well, like, I'm not sure if I will become instructor. I thought about it, but I'm not sure. Knowing how to ski is one thing, but knowing how to teach is another thing, and it's not easy at all. So, like, I, I love listening to how instructors teach their students. It's, it's a very good um, learning experience. I like it. Ah, the slope in the lower part. It's much, much better. It's not foggy at all. Well, it still rains, which sucks, but at least it's, it's not, not, not too bad. I'm so tired and look at my hair. It's so disastrous. Oh. It's actually pretty warm today. Oh, why I feel like I already have goggle tan. Oh my god. Like it's actually pretty warm and I kind of wore too much. So I didn't really wear um oh I already take it off. I didn't really put it on when I'm skiing. And you know, I thought, you know, you know, it's like um how do you say cloudy today? So maybe it's gonna be okay, but I don't think so. Ooh. <gasps> I already have goggle tint. Really? Oh my god. No. how crazy it is you're basically skiing into the fog above is like this down there is like this <laughs> so foggy but so interesting oh i'm back i'm too tired to even talk right now guys let me do a short update regarding my first day of skiing overall i'm i'm good with it like i'm not like 100 percent satisfied i guess only seven out of ten or something i like in the morning i wasn't used to snow uh, i wasn't used to the snow and also skin at all because it's been way too long so i kind of forgot the feeling and just like how to ski in general and also uh what made things worse is like it was uh, raining in the morning so the condition wasn't really good and but in the afternoon it starts to snow which makes all the condition much much better but still it was still very foggy so i was still being very careful with everything i didn't really go too fast until really you know my last two three runs but overall i've been very careful today because it was my uh, first day and i don't want to mess it up because I had some very uh, bad experience before where I just messed up the whole trip because I got hurt and I still have three weeks to go so I really want to make sure that I'm like safe and I do not get hurt yes so overall like in the afternoon I start to get more used to the snow my skis and just like everything the movements and I try to like observe how others, like some uh, very good skiers, how they do it. And then I try to practice myself. So yeah, it was such um, a fulfilling day. Uh, I'm becoming so ah, sleepy. Uh, but I'm going to have my dinner first. 
Oh, I was editing video, but then I become so sleepy. Ow, ow, not a good sign. Ah, but later after I have dinner, and then after dinner, digest a bit, and then take a shower, and then I think my energy will come back. Yeah. Guys, this is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm this tired after like just a day of skiing. Like I thought I'm like okay, and then you know my energy will be back after taking a shower. And I did um think so until like. I was like sitting on the my bed, and then I remember I was like watching some YouTube videos and checking my phones. But then the next thing I remember was after three hours that I realized that I fell asleep. Oh my god! Ah, and I need to, and I still need to stretch, you know, like, oh, oh, so tired, oh, I'm so tired. Oh. But it's just really important to stretch. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna, my muscles are gonna be so sour tomorrow. So let's stretch a bit before uh, going to bed. My mind couldn't even function properly right now. My English doesn't really make sense, I feel like, but you understand. I hope you guys understand. Uh, Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go to sleep, guys. Good night. Ah, but before I go to sleep, I want to share with you guys one funny thing, one funny observation, I guess. So in the hotel where I'm staying, like here, I guess I might be the only female who came here alone and staying here alone and basically go ski go do solo skiing uh here it's kind of rare so even the hotel staffs when they heard that you know when i go for le uh, not le uh, breakfast dinner they were like shocked kind of not not shocked i guess like a bit surprised that you know i'm by myself yeah and even at the ski resort they aren't that many female solo skier I feel like but I think I used to kind of care but right now I really just like I don't care at all you know I just love skiing so much and it's always great to ski with your friends or like snowboard with your friends but it's also i found it also very very interesting to just like do solo skiing i love it so much i can do it like myself for a whole day without even feeling lonely because there are so many things to do, you know, so many drills to practice, so many slopes to kind of try, so busy, busy, busy.